Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Savita. I have converted many cabinet into puja mandir before this. However, this is a total flip. An antique cube shaped side table into a home temple. This is totally the customer's idea. When the customer dropped their side table and asked me to convert it into a cabinet, I was little hesitant to accept this project because I have never done this type of flip. But she gave me the encouragement and asked me to give it a try. And she was okay to discard the piece if it did not turn out well. That gave me the courage to accept this project and I am very happy with the final result. So let's go into the video and see how I did this flip. Since it is large size side table and occupied a lot of living space, the customer has asked me to cut the table in half from side to side and stack them one above the other. The idea is to use less floor space while still retaining full cabinet capacity. Since it was a weekend, my husband offered to help. He was so excited to do this project and did all the woodwork for me. Of course, I did the planning. But he missed shooting the video of cutting the cabinet from side to side. So I am just demonstrating here to show how he had cut the table using a jigsaw. The cut was not exactly in half, but offset towards the rear so that the top part was slightly smaller than the bottom. The cabinet had wooden studs fixed at the bottom of the four corners. We removed the wooden studs on the rear side since it was no more required. The studs were instead attached to the new rear side of the bottom half. Later, the top and bottom portion were fixed using the screws. After fixing the top and the bottom, the exposed back was covered using the plywood sheet. The cut edges were not smooth. To give a finished look to the rough edges, we have attached trims and used wood fillers to cover the gaps. I had already constructed the gopuram and cleaned the cabinet. I have provided the link for making the gopuram in the description box. Now the cabinet is all set for painting. The customer has some tanjur paintings and would like to use this cabinet as an accent furniture to go along with those paintings. Usually tanjur paintings are in the color combinations of red, blue, green and gold. So I chose the same combinations. I use chalk paints for all my projects. I have given the details of all the paints and colors and the links in the description box. Some colors like blue iris and golden ticket are from the brand Debbie's DIY which you can buy from your nearest stockist. I spray water now and then to allow the brush to spread the paint freely. I think COVID has forced more people now to take up painting projects due to the stay at home order. Almost all paints are out of stock. If you are not able to find the brand that I have mentioned, you can also use any other paint available online. I have painted two coats of all the red, green and blue. Since tanjur paints are traditionally framed with teak wood and stained in dark colors, I have chosen to paint all the outer frames and the gopuram in brown.
I did all the stencil work in gold to match the Tanjore painting. I have to highlight all the details in gold using gold rub and buff. But before using rub and buff, I have to finish the painting by using wax. This time around, I have tried a new type of wax. It's a new company and it says gold color. I'm trying it on this cabinet and it looks beautiful. It had gold shimmers and enhances the overall look. I have used a piece of rag to apply this wax all over the cabinet. Once done with waxing, I'm using rub and buff for all the details. This door has beautiful embossed designs and to highlight that I am using this acrylic gold marker pen. This is also a new brand that I am trying and the gold color is so beautiful. Color wise this brand is better than any other brand that I have used. I have given the purchase link for this pen in the description box. The cabinet is in its final stage. I usually attach finials using glue. But since they can accidentally get knocked off, hereafter I am going to use screw to attach. I have already drilled holes. I have spray painted the finials in gold and attaching it using screws. This flipped cabinet has turned out so beautiful and I am very satisfied. The customer was very happy too. And a big thanks to her for having the confidence in me and encouraging to take up this project. I would not have tried this without her encouragement. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for notification. Thanks for watching.